What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Bald Ginger. We're jumping back into some Road to the Show here today. We got a three-game set with the Miami Marlins, but before jumping into this, I did get a call from my agent saying, you've got a year and a half to go until free agency. Would you like to try to get a trade to a contender? And I'm like, um, since when is 58 and 27 make the Diamondbacks not a contender? Oh, so, yep, we're going to stay on the Diamondbacks here. We'll do the next season and then get to free agency. We're jumping into this one here. Bottom of the first, Marlins are at the plate. Wendell Falk is the man right now in the batter's box, hitting 278 on the season. He's got himself a 2-1 and one count with the bases empty and one away here. And uh, Johan Oviedo is on the mound for the Diamondbacks in this game. The 2-1 pitch from him. Routine ground ball down the third baseline. We'll scoop it up, throw to first. Easy play, two away here in the bottom of the first. And top of the second, I'm at the plate leading off. Batting out of the cleanup spot today with a 316 batting average. Christian Javier is on the mound for the Marlins in this game. He hits 95 on his four-seamer, and that's all he's got that's quick. First pitch of the at-bat from him. Inside with a slider. One and oh the count. The Marlins, of course, they are nine games above 500 and holding the second wild card seed currently. Second pitch of this at bat is a four seamer in the zone, got a piece of it and fouled it away just a little behind a 93 mile an hour four seamer. The 1 1 pitch now from Javier. Check swing on a circle change below the knees, and it's strike number two. One and two the count. Pitch number four. Off the outside corner, just barely with a four-seamer there. Two and two the count. Come on, big fella. In the zone with it if you could. There's the knuckle curve outside. Taken for a ball. We have a full count now. Payoff pitch on the way here to lead off the second inning. And it's a perfect, perfect shot into left field. Ground ball with eyes gets by the shortstop there. And we have a single to start our day here in Miami. I like it. I like it a lot. We come back top of the third. Arizona is up one to nothing. I'm standing in one for one on the day. Runner on first, two away here in the top of the third. And Christian Javier is still on the bump for the Marlins. Pitch number 46 of his outing is going to be up and in with a four-seamer. One and oh the count. Come on, big fella. One good pitch is all I need. Don't know if that was a good pitch, but it gets down in front of the right fielder there. It's a two-hit ball game for me, and we have runners on first and second now with two outs in the top of the third. Two-hit ball game. I'll take that. Bottom of the fourth, we come back. Jake Berger is at the plate for the Marlins. Arizona's holding a 2-1 to -one lead here. And there's nobody out and nobody on for Berger. And he's got a 1-1 count against Johan Oviedo. Oviedo's going to kick and deal here. That's a routine ground ball to me, scooped up. Throw to first will be an easy play for the first out here in the home half of the fourth. We're moving on top of the fifth. I'm at the plate for the third time already today. Two for two so far. Two to one is still the score with the Diamondbacks in the lead. Runner on first, nobody out. Christian Javier throwing pitch 68 of his outing, and it's back up the middle. It's a three-hit ball game now. Three for three day at the plate, and it's only the fifth inning. First pitch hacking works out in my favor there. And uh, yeah, three singles is better than three strikeouts. I'll tell you what. Okay, bottom of the sixth, we come back. Marlins have tied it up. It's a 3-3 ball game. Seiya Suzuki is at the plate for the Marlins. He's 0 for 2 on the day with a strikeout and a flyout, but he is hitting 3-0-2 on the season. He's got himself a 1-2 and two count with the runner on first and nobody out. Oviedo is going to be throwing the pitch here in a second. There it is. Ground ball to me a third. This could be two, five, four, and three. We go around the horn for the double play there. And I'll take that any old day of the week when we're in the field. We're coming back top of the seventh. And I'm leading off with nobody out and nobody on. Sean Manaya is now on the mound for the Marlins out of the bullpen. He hits 96 on the four-seamer and 95 on his sinker. First pitch from the lefty. Slider on the outside corner. I was out in front of that by quite a bit. Oh, and one the count as that went foul down the third baseline. Second pitch of the at-bat. Inside, just barely with the four-seamer. That evens up the count at one and one. Next pitch from Manaya. Gripped and ripped into left field. This one could go. Come on, baby. Get up, get up. She gone. Bounces on the first 
right uh, row of the bleachers there above the bullpens. And there's the home run to make it a four for four day at the plate for me. 31st homer on the season. And we are setting a torrid pace with home runs here as we are still like a week and a half away from the all-star break. Wow. Four to three is now the lead for Arizona. We come back, top of the ninth. It's a 4-4 ball game. Runners on second and third. Nobody out. They're going to give me the intentional pass, aren't they? You betcha they are. 4-4 four for four day at the plate. They don't want me doing any more damage here. So first base for free. They'll load the bases with nobody out. And the Diamondbacks are going to win 5-4 in this one. As uh, Elzele picks up his 35th save on the season. And Chiono Perez picks up his first win. How about that? That's intriguing, his first decision on the season. So that's a good start to this series in Miami. Let's see what we can do in game number two. And since we're heading into game number two, you know what that means. This is where I remind everybody, if you haven't done so already, or if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You can also like and comment on this video, as all of those things do help me out with the YouTube algorithm. So here we go, game number two, AJ Puck on the mound for the Marlins. Top of the first, one on on first base, two away. And Puck throws a 98 mile an hour four seamer, 97 on the sinker, 90 on his circle change, only 86 on the slurve. First pitch, back up the middle. I am still perfect in this series. Five for five now, one for one on the day. And we're going to have runners on first and second with two outs here in the top of the first. Man, I am having a series here so far. Bottom of the second, we come back. Runners on the corners, two away for Jeremy Pena. He's hitting only 211 on the season so far, and he was the 2022 World Series MVP. He's got himself an 0-2 count against Brandon Fott, and we're still scoreless here in Miami. Wind up and the pitch from Fott. Simple liner to me, you betcha, baby. Little dive to the dirt, getting dirty but making the play. And uh, yeah, that's going to retire the side and keep this a scoreless ball game after two innings. We'll take that. All right, we come back top of the third. Arizona is now leading two to nothing. Two outs, nobody on. I'm standing in for the second time against A.J. Puck, and let's see what I can do against him in this at-bat. Uh, we foul off a circle change below the knees on the inner third. Oh, and one the count. I was way out in front of that. Just looking for that fastball, apparently. The 0-1 oh, pitch. Oh, slurve on my kneecaps, and I swung at it anyway. Oh, and two the count. Maybe I shouldn't be swinging at everything at their kid's sister. The 0-2 pitch. I <laughs> swing at a four-seamer way above the zone on the outside corner. Good Lord. Three pitches, three swings, three strikes, and back to the dugout I go with a K next to my name. Oof. All right, top of the fifth. It's a 3-1 to one ball game. Arizona in the lead. I'm standing in for the third time today. Runner on second, one away. A.J. Puck still toeing the rubber for the Marlins. First pitch from him is fouled down the third baseline. Slurve inside that I was way out in front of. Oh, and one the count. Next pitch from Puck. Check swing on a slurve inside. And yeah, I'm swinging at every pitch I see. I have not taken a ball in this game yet. Oh, and two the count for me. The two strike pitch is a four seamer above the zone that I swung at yet again and fouled it away to keep the at bat alive. Oh, and two, the count. The next two strike pitch. Chopper up the middle. Second baseman's gonna field that throw to first, but it does advance the runner to third. So that's kind of a perk. Two away though in the top of the fifth. Let's see if we can capitalize. Oh, we have. Nine to one is now the score with Arizona in the lead in the top of the sixth as I'm standing in for the fourth time today already. Sean Manaya is now on the mound out of the bullpen for the Marlins. And I get a bases empty dynamic challenge here. And um, let's try to hit that double or better. I could use a second hit in this one. One out, nobody on. Let's see what Manaya and his 96 mile an hour four seamer can get me. He also hits 95 on his sinker. First pitch from the lefty. Way high with the four seamer. Finally taking a ball in this game. Not swinging at a pitch. Actually works out for once. Who knew? The 1 0 -oh pitch from Manaya. Inside with another four-seamer, two and oh, the count. Come on, big fella, in the zone, and we'll do some damage to it. There it is, circle change out in front by a bit, two and one the count after fouling that one away. 
pitch number four of the at-bat now. Inside corner gets the call from the home plate umpire. Two and two the count. That's a uh, good spot for that. He got a little lucky, I'd say, though. Circle change in the dirt runs the count full. So we're looking at a payoff pitch here to in the top of the sixth. And he walks me. Four-seamer just below the knees on the inside corner is not going to get the call. First base for free, and I did it the hard way. Top of the eighth, we come back. Still a 9-1 to one ball game. I'm standing in one for three on the day. Sean Manaya still on the mound for the Marlins. First pitch of this at-bat from him. Circle change below the knees on the inside third, and I fouled it away for an 0-1 oh and one count. He's not really finding the zone against me here. That one found the zone. Circle change on the outside corner. Catcher's going to pick it up and throw to first to get me. And that will retire the side here in the top of the eighth. We're moving on to the bottom half, though, and we are still leading the Marlins by a lot. It is a 9-1 to one ball game. Bottom of the ninth, it is now a 9-2 to two ball game. Jesus Sanchez at the plate for the Marlins. Nobody out, nobody on. He's standing in 0-2 with a walk on his line score. Gabe Spear is the man on the mound for the Diamondbacks now out of the bullpen. He's worked an 0-1 count here. And he's going to get a ground ball to me at third. We'll scoop it up. Throw to first. Will be the first out here in the bottom of the ninth. We're two outs away from winning game number two. And we're going to win it. Not really a surprise when you're up by that much in the bottom of the ninth. So 9-2 the final score. Brandon Fott takes the win. 7-4 on the season for him. And we're going to move on to game number three, see if we can complete the sweep here on the road in Miami. I mean, we have been, like, stupid good on the road this season. I really don't know why. But, uh, hey, I'm going to take it. <laughs> as long as they're going to let us run with it, we can go. All right. Top of the first here, Sandy Alcantara on the mound for the Marlins in this one. He throws a 97-mile-an-hour sinker, 90 on the circle change, 100 on the four-seamer, 92 on the slider, only 86 on the 12-6 curve. First pitch from him. Gripped and ripped to deep center field. This ball's got a chance. Center fielder runs out of room, and it's into the batter's eye for me. First pitch hacking gives the Diamondbacks a one to nothing lead. Yowza, second home run of the series, 32nd on the season. Right to dead center, too. That right there's a thing of beauty. There's my green line replay. I didn't watch the first one to see if they were going to give it to me, but they gave me that one. That one did not hang up there very long. It got out in a hurry. Bottom of the first, we come back. Wendell Falk at the plate for the Marlins. It's a, still a 1-0 ball game. There's one out, nobody on for Falk. Let's see what he can do with a 2-1 pitch from Dean Kramer. It's a bunt down the third baseline. Well placed. He might be able to beat this out. He will. Wow. All right. Bunt for a hit successful for him. So that's a cool move there. I was not expecting that. We come back top of the third. It's a 2-2 ball game. Two outs and nobody on for me as I'm standing in one for one with that dinger in the first. Sandy Alcantara still on the bump for the Marlins. First pitch of this at bat is a four seamer on the inner third. Fouled down the right field line and foul. Oh, and won the count. I have 32 home runs. Catch up to me here, game. The 0-1 pitch, inside corner with the circle change. We send it out to center field. That one will get caught. And that's going to retire the side and send us to the bottom of the third, still tied at two here in Miami. All right, bottom of the fourth. The Marlins are up 4-2 to two now in this one. Runner on first and one away for Brian Dela Cruz. He's one for one on the day and hitting 304 on the season, so he's not doing bad at all. Got himself a 1-1 count against Dean Kramer. Looks like they're, yep, there's the bunt. It's going to be a simple one to me. We'll throw to first, take the out. Two away now with the runner on second here in the bottom of the fourth. We come back top of the sixth, still a 4-2 ball game. I'm standing in one for two on the day. Sandy Alcantara still on the bump for Miami. One out and nobody on for me in the first pitch of this at-bat. Right down Broadway with a sinker. Good swing timing, bad contact yet again. And it's an 0 oh and 1 count. Next pitch. Chop to third. That's not going to get the job done. 5 to 3 put out is how we're going to score that one as the throw gets me. And that is out number two here in the visitors' half of the sixth. 
top of the ninth. It's a 6-2 ball game now with Miami in the lead. One out, nobody on for me as I'm standing in for the fourth time today against Landon Sims this time around. He hits 97 on the four-seamer, 94 on his two-seamer, and that's all he's got that's quick. First pitch of the at-bat. Two-seamer on the outside corner at 90 miles an hour. I was a wee bit out in front of that one, but I did manage to follow it away for an 0 oh and 1 count. Second pitch. Grooved a four-seamer out to right center field. Center fielder running back, going to make the play on the warning track. Just missed that one for out number two here in the top of the ninth. And the Marlins are going to avoid getting swept at home. And they win game number three by a final score of 6-2. to two. With Dean Kramer taking his fifth loss on the season. Man, he's 5-5. Five and five. Got to be absolutely the worst record of any starter on the team. He has taken a good chunk of our losses so far. So, uh, yeah, one for four day at the plate makes for a six for 12 series. Holy mackerel. I'll take that any old day of the week. We needed that after uh, the kind of sketchy hitting in the live stream yesterday. But that's going to end this series as we take two out of three on the road. And that's uh, going to be the end of this episode as well. For those of you that have made it this far, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do all the fun social media things. We will see you in the next one.